Hello everyone, happy 2019. My name is Dylan with Stepcraft and today we're going to be going over a 3D carving. The first step is choosing our material. So for this carving, I'll be using an oak wood. I took the dimensions of that and input it into Vectric software. My width was 10, height was 12, and my thickness is 1.66. I use a material surface as my Z0, and my XY datum position is the lower left hand corner. Next I imported my 3D model, which mine was an OBJ file. I then decided to use a dome shape from the clip art section of Vectric, as I wanted to carve into my block instead of just cut my shape out. I inverted that dome so that you could see the model coming out and extruding from the dome. Setting up the tool pass is where you really start seeing the project take shape. So with a carving, you start with a 3D roughing pass, which I utilized a 1 quarter inch end mill. I then moved on to the finishing pass, utilizing a ball nose end mill to get the detail. I finished with a pocketing tool path, which was designed to plane down the excess material around the edge of the block. With all the tool pathing complete, the last step is mounting the material to the machine bed. I use double sided tape since conventional clamping would interfere with my final planing tool path. With all the end mills set up in the automatic tool changer, all that was left to do is hit start. After my final finish pass, it's time to add the finishing touches. I used a round over bit for the top edge and a wood stain. After two coats, I used shellac to give the carving that glossy finish effect. If you guys like this project and are interested in seeing more like it, please drop a like down below. As always, thank you for watching. Yeah.